Hey, welcome. My name is Peter and today we'll be reassembling the uh, 2000 whatever ish a Yamaha XVS125 Dragstar uh, that I pick up for a project. If you haven't seen the first part, please go watch it now and then return to this video and we can continue. So if you watched it, let's dive right into it. We will be reassembling today. So quick summary, in the crankcase there was only gasoline, filled it up, check it for uh, oil flow, we do not have a fitting so we cannot uh, check the uh, pressure but we can, um, we can check the flow which we did and we squirted out uh, most of the diluted oil out and I'm happy about it, we have flow and we can start reassembling. We will be uh, starting with this um, air intake. Uh, the uh, O-rings should be changed, but they stand proud, so I think they will be okay. So we will reassemble that. Uh, then there is a big issue that will, uh, it's this really concerning and that's with this bracket. This bracket uh, has been cut off by previous owner because he fitted this uh, silly air intake here and I want to get it back to stock which is uh, this one and then the uh, filter element in uh, this one should probably also check the filter element in it I don't know how to pop it open yeah there's there's missing screw oh, anyways um, we have to um, check the air filter in it, check the state of it, and uh, we need a bracket. And this bracket, um, this bracket belongs here, and we need the bracket, an L-shaped bracket here. And I will probably have to fab it up because. Um, these nuts hold the entire cylinder on. If I crack this loose, uh, the gasket may um, may uh, let loose, and we don't want that. So um, I will probably not met, not mess with this. I will tap this down because it's uh, pulled up, and I will probably fab a little a little extension here, weld it up, paint it, and uh, that will be um, suffice sufficient, I should say. Uh, I disconnected the ECU, so I not forget. I will be welding, so I do not forget while I while I'll be waiting. <laughs> welding. I'm sorry. Uh, so do we do not fry the uh, the ECU. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get this um, air intake in. All right. So the way to install it is pretty simple. Just pop it on. Put four bolts in it, torque it down, and that's it. Pretty simple, right? All right, this thing is in. Now let's uh, correct loose these two bolts and install the airbox bracket. And then, um, and we can. Uh, Go to carb rebuild, I think, and then battery. And we should be ready for the first start, I think. We'll see. Two more bolts out. And let's get the second one. You get it. So this is the bracket that holds the airbox on. So we need to get it um, lined up here. that bracket will be on yep 
and it will be easy to get the the second fabbed up because we have something to work with. You always know there is fun time when it's carb time. So on the left we have the carburetor for our from our donor bike. On the right we have our carburetor from uh, the bike that we are currently working on. Uh, one thing that I uh, noticed right away, the our uh, bike that we are working, the accelerator pump does return on uh, when you push it. This one gets stuck. So I will probably use this body because they said the um, it leaks gas through the uh, inlet shaft. Uh, I mean, from the uh, from the for oil shaft. That's the word. And uh, we will probably swap the the float balls to the carb from the uh, donor bike. So let's um let's crack open the donor bike first. We'll see what we are working with. Uh, We'll see the condition of the jets and stuff like that. So we'll crack it loops and see immediately. All right, so. That doesn't return, so we will not be using this float ball. Other than that, it seals, it flows. We'll check the idle jet. That screwdriver is too small, this one will be too big, or it won't. Check if it's not clogged, and it's not. It's nice and clean. You can get it back and put the other float ball on it and uh, I think we'll be ready to put it on the bike. Okay. This car away. This car. can see new fresh screws, somebody's been working on it, he said they had it rebuilt but it was still leaking after the rebuild. Alright, a little bit of gas down in it, a little bit of chunk. Let's clean that junk off. Yeah, the acceleration pump works. That's good. Looks nice and clean also, but we won't be using it right now. Let's get this one. Plump the, let's compare the float heights. Yeah, this one has much larger float height. Yeah, there can be that issue of overflowing. This carp is overflowing because of that, of that height. 
the float height. So let's get it in position right here. We are pushing on something and I don't like it. Let's uh, let's rewind a bit. There we go. Okay. It is ready to be installed on the bike. All right, the carb is in. Um, I have 6% left on my battery and about 10 minutes of footage. Uh, so the first start I will leave for tomorrow. For you, it will be like that. For me, it will be um, a couple hours of work uh, this evening, couple hours of work tomorrow morning and uh, in the evening I will get back to this. So see you in the tomorrow, see you tomorrow. All right, so we are near the first start of the bike. But before uh, we started up for the first time, uh, the first thing I should do uh, when I'm here and I have everything exposed, uh, the battery is taken out, the uh, connector for the ECU is unplugged. Um, I was thinking about this bracket and as you can see this bracket is pinched underneath uh, the uh, head studs uh, and uh, head bolts I should say, uh, these are probably bolts and if I loosen those to change this bracket, I have this bracket on the other bike but um, then the gasket will uh, let loose and we might cause um, a head gasket issue. So I don't want on that. So um, I will fix this with um, a piece of uh, iron and um, a washer and a nut and we will be welding. So when this is unplugged and no battery, so we don't, do not risk uh, frying any computers and stuff like that. So. Um, I will have fab um, piece for here. Okay, so um, let's start with the um, intake box that goes right here and goes onto the carb. You don't want to lose this. You can see that this bracket is in the way. They bend it a little bit, so we need to get it bent back. Hopefully it is fitted. Let's shine a light through. Yeah, I think. I think it's seated. Yeah, that looks good. So our air box is seated. Uh, we have the bolts uh, that go to the frame. And now uh, we need to tighten it up, connect the hose, the breather hose from the crankcase, like so, get the clamp on it, okay, now we need the air filter itself. This is the air filter, you can see yourself here and you can see myself here, hello. Um, this is going to slips here, it's bolted at the back and it's a 4 millimeter allen and also gets on one push pin I just broke this, okay never mind, we'll fix that Okay, I see. 
this should go here or we are interfering with the with the uh, bracket for the I see I see okay Okay, so this probably goes right here. It's right here. And I cut off a bracket of the um, old frame. So we need to shape it up as we need, chop it off and um, weld it. Okay, so we need the brackets to be, be to be like so. I need to mark where where to bend it. Right about here. Okay. Get it off. Okay, I see. Okay, so I think the brackets in. The um, air intakes in, it's not crooked, I think it's good. So I need to get the welder and tag the welders in. Okay, so the bracket's in. Now let's, um, let's get the covers on for the... the beauty covers or whatever you want to call that. I know why they um, bend this bracket up because they had it switched around. They had the front one, which has three fins on this side. They had it. Um, they had it backwards. They had this up at the back, so it wasn't going in. So they bend it. Okay. So we have that. Oh, then there is this, um, this rubber here. It goes like in so. Okay. And now the, the beauty covers. How was it? Yeah, the larger one goes there, the smaller one, the smaller one goes here. Now, Jesus, come on, come on, you little cover. Oh, we need to line him up.
There we go. That's in. And in the rear here, we have the rubber, which we need to sneak through here, here, and then with this, I think. Okay, now the beauty cover for the bag here. Like so. And we can go on the other side. Rear one. The big one, the rear one. Yep, I'm putting this wrong this way. Installed. Now the small cover. Like so. And the front big one. Like so. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Now we can connect the power plug cables and uh, we are ready for the tank and uh, first startup I think. Okay now the air intake, the air box I should say, or filter box or whatever you want to call that. Breather hose goes on the top. Don't lose the clamp like I did. La. And slide the intake in. And of course, I have the clamp backwards. So take two. So, and the locating pin, the bolts itself, Okay, now the covers for the frame. And the spark plug. So, okay. 
Okay. The other side cover that goes underneath the right one. Clips in like so. And the rubber insulator for the tank. And I think we are ready to put the tank on. Okay. There is some gas in it, so I guess that's a that's a good thing. Let's run the vent hose. The connectors. And finally the Speedo cable through and guide it on the. You probably didn't see anything that was in your way. And guide it on the little rubber stops. Connect the vent hose, click it in, and we need to go forward, I think. Let's see. Yep, now we are lined up at the back here. Okay, we have the battery in, it's a year and two months old, uh, but uh, it's from the uh, bike that we uh, broke down for spares and um, it has been depleted a couple times, so I don't know how that's going to work for us. Uh, so let's put on the choke, uh, flick the key to on and um, well, cross our fingers. Let's uh, plug these um, electrical connections. One and number two. And then we can have to thread in the speedo cable. His design is really not the best. What can you do, right? Okay, I think you have it all in there. Now pull on it to seat it. Just lost my bolt and um, Get that bolt, those two push pins, and this is installed. Let's loose these, put side covers on, put the uh, seat on, and uh, let's take it for a short uh, spin, and then we will change the oil again, and um, then uh, 
the cosmetics, but uh, that will be the part three, I think. Covers. Um, there is the roll pin in that here. So we need to line that roll pin uh, so it's um, level, like so. And then we can proceed. Hook it up front. Then on the top, and then this should lock in, little cover, and move on the other side. Same for the other side, hook it up in front, and there is a bolt on uh, this side. Now for the front seat here, it hooks up front, and then these two these two little guys here. And I can't really work one-handed. Where are the holes? Here they are.
we are back. We put almost 10 kilometers on it, which is like six miles. Um, it did perfect, no hiccups. So uh, I think it's ready for um, its next assignment. And um, I think this will conclude this episode. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. There will be a part three where we'll uh, tackle the cosmetics, uh, swap out some plastics and um, oh, well, finish this bike up and put it up for sale. So thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.